Hello everyone, welcome to Words of Weather. I'm Zach Game, and this is a show all about weather. Today I have the generous ability to go right here back at News Channel 8 to talk to the one and only Erica Martin about El Nino and this summer forecast. Hope you enjoy it, guys. Hey guys, so here today I'm with Erica Martin. She's the News 8 meteorologist, and we're going to talk about El Nino summers and hurricane forecast. Now, this is nothing, you know, we're not going really in technical and depth. We're just going to do an overview. And again, this, you know, it's a forecast, so nothing set in stone. We're just kind of going through the motions, going to see what happens. So, how are you doing, Erica, today? I'm doing fantastic. It's a good weather day, of course, around here. News 8, I'm with meteorologist uh, Kevin Arnone, who's our weather executive producer. And thank you for coming in. The good news is today we're seeing some uh, rain showers, some nice thunderstorms. Uh, we got some hail earlier yes. and some some good downpours. So in weather world, that's that's dreamy. Yes, now, <laughs> unfortunately, since it's, it's not live, obviously I'm editing this video. So this is May 22nd, it's Thursday, May 22nd. That's right. And also it's, it's a special day because today the National Hurricane Center post, posted their official forecast for the hurricane season. That right. doesn't mean it's going to happen, doesn't mean we're saying it's going to happen, right. but that's their forecast. So uh, before we get to the hurricanes though, Everyone's talking about this El Nino. So right. what does El Nino mean and what, well, you know, how it will affect the summer maybe? Okay, well, well, we're going to speak in generalities here. And I say that and I stress that because you are talking about what happens in general when a certain uh, pattern, weather pattern, uh, exists or uh, starts to develop. So with that said, when you're speaking in generalities, it is the, what happens for uh, the most part, but it doesn't happen all the exactly. time. You and I just had a discussion about hurricanes. Now, quickly to touch on the uh, the hurricane forecast, even though this is not it, but even though uh, the it's forecast the was uh, less than average or less than normal, fewer hurricanes this season, uh, hurricane season yes. starts June 1st, so a couple days away. Yes. Now, um, it doesn't mean that won't, one won't do uh, some terrible damage. Yes, exactly. So, of course, you know, we, we have to really think about uh, generalities in these cases. So we don't need 10 hurricanes to cause uh, severe damage uh, and, of course, uh, destroy uh, numerous lives uh, in, in so many ways. Exactly. We just need one. So I def definitely want to go ahead and, and preface this quick conversation with that idea. With that said, El Nino, we're talking about uh, sea surface temperatures that are much warmer in the Pacific. Now, yes. we were talking about this earlier. Uh, sea surface temperatures are ranging anywhere between the mid and upper 60s. Yeah, that's a lot warmer than usual. With that said, uh, right now we are in a neutral phase, so that's not set in stone. However, it looks like it is trending in that way yes. by the by the end of the summer. Now, it looks like temperatures, something that we talked about on our weather special on WXEdge.com inside the weather. We discussed uh, how this could potentially affect our summer and of course exactly. our winter. With that said, again, uh, not to repeat myself, it looks like if we do see the El Nino pattern, which is looks like where this is where we're trending yes. or headed, um, we're going to see those temperatures that are going to be above average for the Northeast, right? Yes. We're going to see uh, drier conditions, wetter uh, in, normally uh, across the uh, the West and for parts of the South. Yes, because of the, again, I don't want to get too technical. I try to tell right. people I try not to, but El Nino normally, like I said, the water's warmer over the, the Pacific which means you have more shear over the Atlantic, which usually tends to, you know, reduce the amount right. of hurricanes. And the jet stream splits over the U.S., so you get right. the northern polar jet and the northern America kind of, and the, and the southern jets kind of towards the south. So that splitting flows where you have the kind of dryer in between. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, actually, I popped But the key point quickly. that you brought up was the wind shear. Yes, wind that shear. is the key point, and this is why this uh, forecast yes. was uh, issued with uh, the chances of less hurricanes than normal. So that wind shear is probably the key ingredient uh, in this uh, system, of course. And you're talking about, of course, the warmer conditions, yes. all that good stuff. Anyhow, um, I lost you. Now, oh, I was, I was, you actually, lost I was me. pointing here. I actually just put the map of the hurricanes. And you can see this again, this is the National Hurricane Center. This is not our forecast. Right. This is the official forecast by the National Weather Services, National Hurricane Center. But they say eight to 13 storms, three to six hurricanes, and two to one to two major. Now again, 
there could be a million storms, but it doesn't affect land. As we said, it only takes one storm. So even if it's a tropical storm, hurricane, or major hurricane, if it hits landfall anywhere in the, the U.S. or even you know out of the U.S., it, it's a big storm. So these numbers really mean nothing to the average person. When someone says that means 13 hurricanes are going to hit the U.S., no, it does not. That just means they're going to be could could form. Mm -hmm. And again, last year we had a few form, but only one. It was what was it Andrea? I think mm -hmm. that came into Florida, and that mm -hmm. was a really weak one. So last year was very unusual mm -hmm. week. But you know, sometimes I think it's too good to be true. So. A, a low forecast, again, does not mean everyone should let their guard off, right? No, right. I mean, you're, and even if you're talking about a, a thunderstorm, it, it, look today, we were seeing uh, uh, some some uh, reported hail. So if that's the hail that's coming down on your car in your house, that's a severe weather situation, no matter how you slice exactly. it, because it's your livelihood and it is your uh, income that it's affecting. So we or your fi your financial situation. So I think that that's really important. Sometimes I think a lot of viewers uh, give us a little bit of a hard time because they're thinking we should be the the um, the the final um, word in weather. That's not the case. Everything is a, a perspective and it's relative. Sorry, my microphone is falling, oh. but it's relative. You know, it might not affect you as badly as it'll affect other people. We're talking about Katrina. Now, of course, we were devastated by Katrina because so many people lost lives, but we weren't I wasn't directly impacted, I'd Neither say, I, I mean, right, but. physically. However, financially, of course, that affects the yes. entire economy. So there's so many things that we have to consider as meteorologists. I really want other people to understand that it's not just the science. It's not the math. It's not the physics. Again, I'm just holding my mic pack here. It's the uh, economical, uh, ec the effect that it has on the economy, the, e the economical impact, if you will. So these are things that I think this is a great point that you're exactly. bringing up when it comes to the hurricane season, as well as El Nino, because in addition to what's going on meteorologically. Um, we have to think about how it's going to impact all areas of our lives. And I think this is why our job is so important. And this is why Storm Teammate does such a great job because we always, we've got your back. You know, we always watch out for every part of your life, your lifestyle. We care about what's going on, how you're going to be affected. We want to let you know when you should have that umbrella handy, when you should keep it around, and maybe when you should go ahead and make that last minute run to the grocery store, Fine. get some milk, get some bread, and, and be safe out there. Um, but thank you so much for, for, no for coming problem. down. We appreciate, appreciate that. Erica. Love having you down here. And um, of course, uh, and next time. Um, sorry, you can. No, no, tune into Storm Teammate. It was just a, a tag. Yeah, so again, we're back here at News 8 once again. Probably my last time here as I'll be graduating Hampton High School in a few weeks. Woo! Just want to thank you. Congratulations. Again. I want to thank Major Dodge, Kevin Arnone, who's in the back, who's got the show together. <laughs> and I'm also going to be talking to him more about hurricanes in the next few weeks. So we have a lot to talk about. Yes. The year's wrapping up severe weather, hurricanes, summer forecasts, a lot's going on. But I got to wrap it up here, guys, in News 8. So I'm Zach Duhame, and this is Words of Weather.